Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Decisive Campaigns, the Blitzkrieg from Warsaw to Paris. And in this case, it's from Warsaw to London, as we're in Operation Sea Lion. This episode is a special bonus episode brought to you by my Patreon supporter, Pum Narao. If you would like to see some additional content as well, head down to patreon.com and see which level of support suits you. And with that said, let's get started. I want to start doing some aerial recon along the cliffs. Already in multiple places. So I can see potentially where there might be good places for a, uh, a drop. Hmm. I won't be going very far from the coast because I would imagine that um, losses would be a lot higher if I were to try, say, try to land at Bournemouth. And then, of course, all my supply boats would also have to go all the way there, which just it, that just cannot be good. Seems like Folkestone is at least is empty. Let's see if Ramsgate is also empty. It is not. What's this called? Veal. Okay, so f apparently Folkestone is just completely empty. For 60, I can send a Panzer Division, or Panzer Corps, and a regular Corps. Um, let's land them here. Um, so due to the gas attacks, which is one of the variants... Which are active, by the way, because we can see that gas tax is on. Um, and we have no preparation. The British may execute a poison gas attack on a hex of choice. And we're going to take damage there. So we want to keep our units as spread out as possible. I don't think you can play a card this turn already. Let's, let's actually also take a look around this area. The reason for that is that I actually have a Fleeker division that I can also drop. And I could potentially cut these guys off already for a turn. Although I, I'm not sure whether they will get supplies at a port. Um, I mean, they might. At that point, it wouldn't be worth trying to take Dover. But then it would, I still would need to take Ramsgate. But I would have to deploy them probably here and then also some infantry down there. Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to the Cessna Campaigns, the Blitzkrieg from Warsaw to Paris. And we are in the Battle of Britain, the final mission. Either way, this is a special bonus episode, which is brought to you by my Patreon supporter, Pum Narao. If you'd like to see additional content as well, head down to patreon.com, see which level of support suits you. And with that said, let's get started. I want to start doing some recon on some of these areas here um, that way I can take a look as to where I might be able to do some drops
And also give me some intel on where the enemy might be. Okay, so they have units here, and then this is empty. Let's take a look at Ramsgate in the vicinity. They do have a unit in here. I cannot actually see whether they have something at Ramsgate yet. They probably do. It would surprise me if they didn't. Yeah. Let's start, I guess, with Hoth's 15th Panzer Corps. Deploy it near Folkestone because it's just sheer out empty. The only place which is completely empty. But... What I could do is if I were to drop paratroopers there... I might actually be able to encircle these. If I deploy a core there as well. Um, yeah, under von Fleetinghof. I want to try and spread out my units as much as possible so as to try and take as little damage as possible from the gas attacks which well, quite frankly will be tough mm. but at least this is an opportunity for me to encircle the first and also these guys already. I don't know how it works with uh, regards to them getting supplies from a port. Um, but I do know that at least those are now encircled. I guess I'm not encircling either of these with this action. But having encircled at least the first infantry division through this way and these guys will at least allow me to then start moving forward. This is weird and unfortunate I cannot see into Chatham itself so the question is will it be empty now it is not okay Thirty seventh Infantry Brigade, so it's hand, it's operating alone. Um, let's also link up this way. These guys get supplies from the port, I think. And yeah, we'll have to keep them separate because otherwise they're just gonna attack one of these Panzer divisions. This is just gonna get wrecked, basically. I, I think. So no matter what I do, I will have an infantry that will suffer here. It's just nothing I can do. I can keep this part of the 17th, but it just it doesn't work. So, um, yeah, I have no other choice than to do it like this. Um, I think that's okay. It's not too bad. Can't bomb them because I'm sheer out of everything. You can play any cards. And the core units also can't play anything, so I'm pretty much stuck at that for now. We'll see how this pays off. It's interesting because they also have a, a pretty big number of units there. Yeah, it's just just basically noth oh, uh, nothing I can do now. Let's take a look. It, um... It does seem, at least, like uh, this will be a much shorter mission than the other one. So we, we might actually be done pretty quickly. 
it uh, it won't be a one turn per episode kind of thing. I mean, in France, it, it took actually substantially longer already, so there's that. Um, I wouldn't expect these guys to be out of supplies and such immediately. Oof. That, that's looking pretty rough. Huh. <laughs> okay. Well. For them to immediately lose that. I am, I am not pleased. At least they kept the encirclement on them going. Like, if they're ultimately going to try and attack, I'm not so sure as to how effective such a thing will be. Since they are now going to be more severely disorganized by moving like that, at the very least. Did they just move out of Hastings? That sound always gets me. German corridor is still intact. Intercept level is five. They did that gas attack. That's probably on the hex with two units. Germans were unprepared. 20, holy moly, 25% casualties. That is insane. 7% <laughs> losses in a single turn. Yeah, well, that was not too unexpected. At any rate, Hastings is not a port. Strangely enough. Neither seems to be Portsmouth. I'm not too sure how that works. Um, the, the fact that they don't look like ports. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, they didn't lose that many men. And I put them in Maidstone with a reason. They are not in the slightest disorganized yet. But I will play the speed card or haste on the 7th Panzer Division. Now for this turn, I can either yeah I can only deploy one core, and then next turn I might be able to deploy another Panzer Panzer division there. Um, I, I mean uh, Panzer Corps. Keep thinking in terms of divisions, but uh huh. They also had AA, but. The thing is, is that it's nice that Ramsgate is for taking. Is there a port here? Or it's just cliffs? I'm just very surprised that, that enemy units would be moving up in there. Mostly. Um, in no way should I feel forced to attack these guys this turn yet, I think. So I think the most important thing is to, at least for now, is to also secure the ports and stuff. So we know that these are empty. Let's take them. And then now I can deploy von Manstein up here. They will have 100 points because they'll be in a good position. I'll have the 31st try to deal with these guys soon while... Wow. 
Yeah, these other guys can then move. So I guess I want to try and get the 26th to, to also deal with these guys. Um, but the goal is here at least to clear this up. Let's pull you back. And make sure they don't escape. It's, uh... I guess going to be very important. Well, I try to also move forward. Try to clear them, I suppose. Uh, same for that Irish unit. I actually think... Uh, no, okay, I can't attack with them. Maybe next turn. I guess for now they're okay. Mm. How useful is it to move you guys down? Not too much, I think. We're just gonna get attacked, or yeah. Let's let's just see what, uh, what the enemy's got in store. So let's move you in here. Like I said, I do need to clear this. I'm really not so sure as to. Oh, this kind of guy's gonna perform. I guess they have a bonus. Not gonna play that Luftlande division card yet because I'm saving it for a rainy day. In that sense, I think trying to. Um, trying to, at the very least, secure a solid line. I have no clue what they're trying to do. Why are they moving up like that? That's very weird. I mean, I just hardly can imagine this benefiting them. It's just really weird. Maybe they're trying to get these guys out, but yeah. At least it seems these Irish forces are not going to do very well. Seems like they almost got out already. Because they're doing some stuff here. It's very weird. Well, they're not out yet. So, hmm. that was slightly more challenging. Oh. Hmm. 
Yeah, I, I will fight these. So I'm gonna like, focus on my bombing on them. Or at least quite a bit. It does seem like they're in for a bit of a pickle with minus 50. Let's hope I can kill them here. Uh, holy smokes. What the heck is going on? Like, even with 50% penalties, they are just insane. I took even more damage than they did. Against an infantry brigade and an AA. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. Okay, wow. Um, I'm actually quite taken aback by this. Um, this is Eastbourne and this is Hastings, so Eastbourne must be empty. Could land there in order to take it. One of the reasons why they might be so powerful is the um, their base morale, which at 100, um, and that's really high. So, do they actually lose points for? Uh, Actually, might be better off getting Guderian in Hastings, because, yeah, there we are. This, actually, I should not have so hastily done that. Either way, let's leave that last part of, uh, okay. I'm running straight into the first armor division. I thought that, you know, this would have been super silly, but if. They also have that. That becomes a major problem. Now, playing a haste card at this stage on the 7th Panzer Division.
I mean, let's face it, they need to die. I, uh... That was useless. They need to die fast. That was insane. They might even move into this hex if they can and escape. I'm not counting on it too much, but it could be a thing. Given how things are progressing. Sixty-two again. It's just I don't get it. They are encircled for a while already. Mm. I mean, neither the Polish nor the French forces or the British forces in France had such insane stat boosts as here. It just, it just cannot be 62, like in the swamp. But, uh, right, well, we'll see. losses 2% still not anything to write home about Just, uh, I just don't know. They've been encircled for at least three turns. Um, in the French campaign or the Polish campaign, these guys would be at the very least on lower supply consumption. But here, it indeed it just does not seem to face them at all. Um, strangely enough. In fact, yeah, at least for them, it does now, but still. 
Well, they certainly will not be able to attack at that stage. So moving in there was a waste. Okay. I guess at least those units are gone. Um, yeah, that is something. Not sure how well this is gonna go. Okay, reasonable. guys have tried taking care of that so my next target will be the engineers and I personally just feel that it's gonna be a better idea now uh, to just systematically try to defeat every single enemy unit like just to kill it off before continuing Like maybe it's the lack of artillery. I, I guess that could be a thing. Sure. Not even being able to deal with this, with those units. I guess I'll have to make do.
What I do think is very strange though is the fact that I'm just not seeing a lot of enemies. But they are here. I mean, that would explain it. Uh, not that I'm taking super much territory or anything, but... Hmm. At least I have a stable front here. Right, so if I want to deploy the other... Uh, yeah, this is sick, so... There are basically two options. If I deploy a core, a regular one, um, then I'll have 10 points left. And then next turn, I could either get 20 point or 30 points by having a clear weather turn, getting me to 40, allowing me to deploy the last panzer um, core, or I will get 15 putting me to 25 and putting me to 25 will allow me to at least deploy another core not another or two cores I suppose how are you can you move across that answer is no Let's deploy it Eastbourne then. I want the 78th. It seems weird, but they don't seem to be deploying any more um, gas attacks, interestingly enough. Most of these are still just one point. Oh, no, those are two points. Okay. Um, so I really got to do something about uh, the enemy's strength in some way because it's unsustainable the uh, way or the amount of damage I'm taking currently, I just cannot continue going through like this. So, yeah, I'll we'll certainly have to take a look. The fact that they are here, they might retreat though. I will certainly also try to move up my fighters and then get a bit of a better visual. I can see nothing at this moment. The terrain up here is not very forthcoming with all these hills. I mean, this is ideal terrain for tanks, but I don't really need to go there that badly. I do have a sensation that if you're playing this as the Germans against a human player, this becomes physically impossible. Like, the enemy moving away from, you know, some of these key cities um, has helped me significantly. And... If you're playing against a human player and they do not do that, I think, you know, I don't really see any possibility of any German invasion succeeding against a human player here. Um, you know, you might have a chance against an AI, but...
Oh, so now they put up a gas attack. 32-24. Let's take a look at where that is. Here. Probably. 32-24, yeah. So I wonder then when they can perform these gas attacks. Um, because... This is a beautiful picture. Because they don't seem to be deploying it every turn, although the game does suggest that they can do it every turn. Um, but then they didn't. Uh, it's just confusing. <laughs> Very confusing. Uh, right, 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 right. Either way, I'm going to wrap things up here for a first episode on uh, this uh, British front here. I want to thank you for watching. Do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Special shout out to my Patreon supporters Poom Narao, Dungeon Pastor, Thomas Love Training, Thomas B. Marshall, C. Data, and Swords. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. See you next time, and bye bye.